Hollywood Live with Tanya Hart. Oh, it seems like the axe is falling over at the grill. Of course, I'm talking about Byron Allen's media conglomerate. Well, an individual with knowledge of the situation did tell the rap.com that members of the podcast and video team have been laid off, along with managing editor Christy Oglesby. The individual also told the rap that Allen Media Group is making strategic changes to better position the company for growth, but it does result in expense and workforce reductions across all divisions. Now, the company did come out with their own statement where the spokesperson did decline to talk about what the specifics are in the layoffs. The Griot was acquired by Byron Allen Media Group in 2016. They also own 27 network affiliate broadcast television stations in 21 U.S. markets. Byron has done very well. And I'll tell you one thing I know to be true of him. He always has a plan and usually lands on his feet. So I'm sure that he'll be okay. We do know that. And hopefully all of the other layoffs will find other jobs. Looks like we will not be seeing Will Smith on the red carpet. Will is refusing to take part in the publicity campaign for his new movie, Bad Boys Ride or Die. We all know he does not want to talk about the infamous 2020 Oscar slap and the state of his marriage with Jada Pinkett Smith. You know, he really doesn't do interviews anymore, but I do have to say that he showed up and showed out at Coachella recently. Will popped up on stage at the end of Colombian singer J Balvin's set. He rapped the lyrics to his smash hit Single Men in Black while dressed in his 1997 character Agent J's trademark black suit. Yep, it still fits. <laughs> Go Will. For all these stories and a whole lot more, make sure you follow us on social media at Tanya Hollywood and at AURN Online. And also check out our video interview with Quavenjane Wallace about her new thriller, Breathe. You don't want to miss that one.